on with the basics. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the most frequently asked questions that I get. Um, the first one is almost always, am I psychic? Am I talented? Um, one of my things is I can normally tell how people are talented and, um, you know, kind of help them pull out ways to develop what they're doing. Um, I love that. It's an awesome talent. Way better than being an empath. I kind of feel bad for the empaths because they feel everything. Um, so are you psychic? If you have to ask, yeah, you probably are because you're probably experiencing situations um, that may be confusing and you've done your research and obviously you've led here, psychic. I mean, you know, it's a word. It's kind of a loaded word. Am I? Okay. Are you talented? That's better. Everyone is talented in a different way. Are you psychic? I have something in front of me. I'm not going to tell you what it is because you can only watch this once and get it, okay? So I have something in front of me, I'm not telling you what it is. If you're psychic, you know, but that's not true, right? Okay, all psychics have different realms of being psychic. It's not just one word. There are all sorts of different ways to be a talented psychic, okay? Some people can read different people's thoughts. Some people can read different people's emotions. Um, psychic is a big, big, big umbrella word, okay? Um, the same thing with the cards, red, black, red, black, red, black, you know, face card, low card, high card. There are all different ways to be psychic. You may still be psychic and be really terrible with the card exercise. You can't do the paperclip thing, but you can look at someone and know if they're having a bad day. You can feel if someone has just had an argument or a disagreement with someone. You can see from across the room somebody glowing from happiness that all falls under the realm of psychic, okay? Psychic does not just mean mind reader. Um, psychic can have just the feeling, the knowing of something bad is gonna happen, or they're concerned for somebody, or they're seeing little pictures of future events, sometimes little glimpses of future events. Um, deja vu happening repeatedly. What else? Gosh, there are so many things that fall under that umbrella. Um, oh, I'm trying to think. Are you psychic? Yes. If you're asking me, you probably are. Congratulations. Yay! Good for you. Now what are you going to do about it? Mm, sometimes nothing. Some people just want a confirmation that what they're experiencing is normal. Uh, I don't know if normal is the word for it. <laughs> Abby normal. I prefer that. Abby normal. Um, but yeah, everyone has talents. You know, a lot of mothers completely, completely are connected to their children. So if one of their children is hurt, they somehow know, um, like, I always get really worried about my kids before the daycare calls and says, hey, so-and-so has a fever. That, you know, connected with your kids. Um, you know, some people have dreams that something is going to happen. That's psychic. It's precognition. Um, a lot of people need to touch someone. Um, I don't like to touch people. I know, it's kind of weird. Um, I don't like germs, for one, but also because when I touch people, I connect with them and I get information from them. So I'm very cautious about who I touch. And sometimes it comes across as rude. I'm really not being rude. If I'm fiddling with my phone instead of shaking your hand, um, it's an excuse to not touch you. Whether it's me having a bad day or being stressed out or not wanting to take on whatever you have going on. Um, the stronger you are, the less you need to touch in order to gain information. Or it's just a different type of skill. So don't think that just because you can't get information without touching someone doesn't mean you're not talented. It just means you're talented differently. Okay? Um, ways to test if you're psychic. There's a million different ways to test if you're psychic. Um, one of my favorite things to do, and I used to do this with my little sister when she was much younger, um, I would take her to the mall and we would people watch. And I was inspired by Practical Magic when they do, um, oh gosh, they were walking down the street and the younger character says to the older characters, oh, I wish I had that normalcy. And it was a couple walking down the street with their kid. And the older lady goes, he's sleeping with a babysitter and she can eat a pound cake in under a minute. Normal's overrated. Uh, normal's absolutely overrated. Um, so we do people watching. Um, and it always starts as fun. You know, pick out the weirdest, most random thing you can about a person and just go with it. Make a story, you know, and that's how you kind of get your imagination working and you know, get your free thinking flowing and then start to pick out things, you know. 
a lot of times I'll pick a back-to-back -back bench so that we're sitting on one side and if someone else sits behind us, we try to figure out, is it a boy, is it a male, is it a female? Are they younger or are they older? You know, do they have something in their hands? Something that we can visually turn around and be like, oh, oh, yeah, you're right, you know, that sort of thing. So you need a partner in crime for that, but it's totally worth it. Um, in fact, everyone should have a partner in crime. I firmly believe in building the idea of a community because the less we feel alone, the more we feel loved. Um, so, yeah, congrats, you're psychic. What are you gonna do with it? That's the question. Um, I feel like that's the question people want to ask me, but they don't know how. Yes, you are talented. What are you gonna do with it? Well, that's up to you. That's your path. That's part of the fun is discovering what are you gonna do with it. You know, are you gonna learn to help people? Are you gonna learn to teach? Are you gonna learn for you so that you can improve your life and pass it on slowly to other people? Um, is it just for you? You know, for me, my path for a long time was very hermit. You know, it was just me. I really wanted to improve myself. I really wanted to work on myself. And there were things that I strictly wanted to do for me. Um, and then part of my path was very giving. Giving, 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 giving. The readings, you know, um, it's like fair sort of things. You know, I just wanted to give everything I could. Um, and I'm sure, you know, everyone kind of goes through that development. Um, seek confirmation. Um, I'm huge on evidence reading. I'm huge on checking back um, as far as being correct with something. Um, keep records. You know, I encourage you to keep records. If you have dreams, keep a dream journal. You know, if you have deja vu, keep track of that. You know, um, if you hear things, you know, if it's your spirit guide, if it's a ghost, um, you know, keep track because when you go five years from now and look back and the way that you got into your path and you learned from where you started, it, it's a lot of fun to look back and say, here's where I was, here's where I am. Man, pff, you know, I've, I've learned a ton, I've experienced a lot. I have a lot more self-confidence in myself because I can look back and say, yes, I was right, yes, I was right, yes, I was right, I was wrong. Here's what I learned from being wrong. And then I improved myself. Um, so are you psychic? Yay, yes you are. Now what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> so good luck on your path. Um, the answer is yes. Uh, what do I have in front of me? Are you ready? Cause you can only watch this once. Remember, tacos, dude, tacos. Okay, if you guess sour cream, cheese, nacho chips, or tacos, congrats, you're psychic. And really good, cause I didn't even give any hints. <laughs> so have a wonderful day, guys. I love you and I'm thinking of you, bye.